Today I'm going to show you how to make a little canoe that I designed using loft and guide curves to establish the outer edge, the keel, and the center of the boat. Let's get started. First thing we're going to want to do is open a new part. Once our new part is open, we're going to open a sketch in the front plane to establish a little bit of reference geometry to bound our boat. I'm going to begin a horizontal construction line at origin and I'm going to make it 120 inches long or 10 feet. There we go. Next I'm going to make a vertical construction line on the end section of my line that didn't start at origin. This will give me a snap point to cut off my guide curves. Now, using my spline tool and beginning at origin, I'm going to draw a rough outline for the keel of my boat. Remembering to end it at our aft reference geometry, that second line that I drew. I'm going to name that keel. Next I'll open another sketch in my front plane to draw the center line of my boat. Again using spline, beginning at origin, and terminating at my vertical reference line. There we go. Now I'm going to open a sketch in my top plane, and I'm going to repeat that aft termination line, my vertical construction line. so that all of my guide curves end at the same spot. Now once again using my spline tool and beginning at origin, I'm going to draw the outer edge of my boat. And there we have it. I'll call that one Outer Edge. Now that I have the guide curves to help control my loft, I want to create some reference planes to put my profiles in. I'll create six reference planes from the front to the back, over 120 inches. I'll make them each 20 inches apart so that the last reference plane ends at the same point my guide curves end. I'll hide my extra planes, and I'll go to the first plane to begin the profile for my loft. I'm going to draw a rough outline of the rib of my boat, and I'm going to make sure this first line is not horizontal, because I don't want to be erasing a horizontal snap for every one of them. The second line I'm going to leave vertical, because I want it to line up with the center of my boat here. And for the hole, I'm going to use a spline so that I can flex it and give it more of a realistic shape for the whole of a boat. I'll establish my spline, and then I'll tinker with it however I, however I like it to look. All right, that looks pretty good. Select OK. Now to connect my profile to my guide curves, I'm going to use a Pierce relationship. A Pierce relationship can be very handy because it connects the two lines at the single point that the guide curve passes through the plane of my profile. It'll snap my points up to where the guide curve is, like so. 
I'm going to repeat that with the other two points of my profile. For my first profile, my piercing relationships are established. I'm going to rename him Rib1. Now a nice little trick in SolidWorks when using repetitive profiles is that I can go to Rib1, highlight it by clicking on it, and press Ctrl C to copy that profile to my clipboard. I can then go to each plane, click on it, and press Ctrl V, and it'll insert a copy of that sketch into that plane. It doesn't take with it the Pierce relationships, I'll have to establish those individually. But it does save a lot of drawing time. Now I'm going to go through and rename each of my profiles, Rib2, Rib3, Rib4, and Rib5. And I'm going to call the last one Aft. And then I'll go into each of my profile sketches and make the Pierce relationships between the points of my ribs and my guide curves. We'll skip ahead so you don't have to watch all of that. Okay, I have my Pierce relationships established, now let's begin our loft. We'll start at origin, and I'll select each profile in the order I wish SolidWorks to connect them. Because it'll connect them in the order that you select them. Rib 1, Rib 2, Rib 3, four, five, and finally the aft section. Now it gives a preview of our loft, which looks close to what we want, but it's not following the guide curves in the front. It's a little too tightly tapered. So let's click on the guide curve section. And you can select your geometry either from the feature tree or from the workspace. I'm going to use the feature tree and select keel first. Then I'll select center. And finally outer edge. The preview that SolidWorks is giving me seems like it's going to follow my guard curves fairly well, so I'll select OK. And that looks pretty good for half of a boat. I'll take that and mirror it either around the front plane or the flat face that I made in the middle of the boat. Loft is already selected as that was the last thing that we did. I like that preview. I'll select OK. It looks pretty good, excepting that it's not hollow. So we'll go in, straighten out the view here a little bit. Pull them up just a tiny bit. And now, using the shell command, I'll shell out the top of it, leaving a one inch thickness on all of the remaining walls. And there you have a quick canoe in SolidWorks using loft and guide curves. Have fun and good luck.